What's up guys, this is Eric from B-Side. Today we have here a 2024 GR Corolla and we're excited to install another one of our plug and play Encore Alpha power amplifier. Very, very easy installation. All you have to do is get behind your radio. Everything's plug and play and there's plenty of room behind the screen to be able to mount the amplifier so you won't have any troubles doing so. Today we're gonna show you like what we did before, a little before and after, how much difference it makes. Uh, you'd be quite surprised. And there's co many customers out there with GR Corolla who already installed this and we've been getting nothing but positive feedback. So we're super, super excited to make this video again. So let's not waste any time, get in the car and install this amplifier. All right, now that we're in the car, let's go ahead and get started. So we're first gonna remove this trim around the screen like this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and then let's go ahead and remove this panel piece here. Okay, all right. If you'd like, you can also use a panel removal tool, place it on the bottom and pry it out. Okay, and behind here is one connector, just wiggle it out. There's another one on the bottom. Press down the release tab and pull out like so, and go ahead and set this aside in a safe location. And once you do that, this exposes some 10 millimeter bolts under here. We got one, two, and three, and four. We got two facing up and two facing to the side. So we usually use power tool, but this time we're gonna just use this ratchet. And to remove these two top here, you're not going to be able to put an extension. If you have a short extension, you could use that. But our socket's a little bit on the bigger side due to the magnetic feature. All right, so all the four bolts are removed. Now we're going to pull this out. Before we do so, lay a thick towel or an old sweater like this. Okay, I'm going to pull it out. Just place your hand behind here. Like so. And this will expose all the connectors that we need to connect. And then let's grab our harness here. And the two connectors we need to remove are these two. All the way to the right and the center one here. Make sure you only disconnect these two because the same connector will also fit in the other ones. And if you make a mistake, you can short something out. So we're gonna remove these two connectors on the top just so we have more room. And when you're pressing this one in, make sure you hear that click sound, like so. If you don't hear that click sound, that means you're not pushing it hard enough. And if you don't push it in enough, then you're gonna get some error signs and you might even get a check engine light. So make sure you do that. This is a very, very important step. A lot of customers are not pushing it all the way in and they're having some problems with it. All right, and then now let's connect our speaker connectors. So we got that. And let's connect the other one. All right, and then next, let's connect the eight millimeter on the side. Let me grab an eight millimeter socket and a wrench. All right, so just grab an eight millimeter wrench. Just loosen it. You don't need to loosen it all the way. Just enough for us to put the ground connector to it. All right, so the connection to the radio is done, but do not forget to reconnect those two connectors that we disconnected, okay, back in here. But before we do that, let's find a good mounting spot for the amp. Before we look for a good mounting spot for the amp, let's also adjust the gain. We already know the optimal gain setting for this amplifier. Uh, for the R, we're just gonna keep it right at 12 o'clock, which is the default setting. For the front, we're gonna turn it down a tad to about 10 o'clock. So default is at 12, so we turned it back a little bit, okay? All right, so if you keep it at 12 and you turn on the music really loud, you might get some distortion. So turning it back prevents that from happening. Okay, here's our connection. All right, there's a lot of room on the right side. That is where we are going to mount this. And before we mount it on the right side, let's wrap it with some foam tape. This is included with the kit. Okay, so we placed this on the right side. There's some room over there. And we were able to secure it so it doesn't move around. Okay. And then we are also mo moving a lot of the harness towards that way too. 
All right. Okay, so be careful with this ground wire. Make sure it doesn't get pinched with these um, brackets. Okay. Let's find my two connectors that we're gonna reconnect back to its original location. All right, and then let's push this radio back in. And then let me go ahead and just reverse order everything we just did. And then we will compare the before and after. All right, so we just finished reinstalling it. Seems like everything's working as it should. Now let's go ahead and do an after. All right, guys. Well, now you see the difference. It just sounds so much better with our amplifier. You'd be amazed at how much difference it makes. The sound quality is just much more crispier and cleaner, and you could hear the vocals much better. There's a lot more separation between all the instruments, the vocals, and the and the bass as well. The bass hits tighter, and it's just much more pleasant to listen to. If you're on the fence on purchasing it, do not hesitate. You will be satisfied and give it a try. Thank you for all the loyal subscribers. You guys have been amazing. You guys are making our channel grow, which we are very, very thankful for. Thank you very much. And for all the new followers, if you haven't yet, give us a like and hit that subscribe button to ensure that you don't miss out any of the awesome content in the future. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.